Hi guys, um, this is going to be, be a very, very, very short video just to let you know what I've been up to since the last one. Um, I've managed to finish the Kubo bargain. At the moment, the seats are just like placed in because uh, I want to adjust them when I put figures in. Need to put the glass in the window. Like There's a little bit more detail painting to be done on it. A little bit more weathering, chipping. Uh, apart from that, it's all assembled, mostly anyway. Um, yeah, so this is going to go on the winter scene, the 116th. Um, as you can see, it's like all done on the inside. Um, it's not what I can say about that. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm looking forward to actually doing this diorama. It's going to take a, a while. I think it's it's probably going to take longer than the last one I've done. The actual uh, diorama itself. I've also done a one sixteen bike um, and sidecar. I'm I'm going to confess. I bought both of these from AliExpress. This was a, a Tanya. Um, uh, uh, what time year 82 Europe Eastern Europe or whatever uh, and this was supposed to come in a box as well by made by a Korean company um, Seoul I think it is but when I got it, it I actually got it in a box just basically thrown it in a box with no instructions for assembly assembly parts were broken and damaged um, like like the tub of this was all broken, cracked. Um, most of the, the the intricate details were all broken and cracked as well. So, lesson learned: not to buy anything like that from AliExpress again, unless it's in a box. Which I thought this was going to come in a box, because obviously this was an original Tamiya uh, from obviously from Tamiya. Um, no problems with that whatsoever. Nice, nice deal on that. Nice little price I paid for it. This, I paid £83 for this, and it took me absolutely weeks and weeks of looking at photographs on YouTube, uh, on, you know, Google and such like that, just to try and get the, get it assembled. I managed to, do, I think I've done a good job of it, actually, to be honest, with no instructions. Um, so, it's gone together. I'm happy that it's actually gone together, but... To actually get ripped off like it did do, you know, that's, I've always got myself to blame, really. Um, AliExpress, people always say, no, don't go there, go to... But I thought this was going to be a genuine item, like this was. But obviously, I was wrong. Uh, so, oh, that's me little moan about that all done. So that's done. This is the figure that there was actually goes on it. It's not fully painted yet. I've only just done blocked in the colours. Um... It's not going to focus, is it? It's quite a nice little figure, actually. And it fits well on the bike. So that's one. Um, this figure came today. Um, it's a tank figure, really. It sits on the tank and such. <laughs> but when it came, it had a World War One helmet. For some odd reason. Um, I'll show you the helmet, actually. As you can tell. There's a big difference between that one and the one he's wearing. So that's going in the bin. Um, I'm looking forward to painting this one. I've seen this one in, in, on Google Images a lot. And some of the guys have actually painted these really, really amazing. Um, I just made some block colouring on the heads and some flesh colour. They've got a lot of detail on them to be painted. So as I say, I just thought I'd keep you abreast of what I've actually been up to. And the heartaches I had over this bloody bike. So I hope you're all happy and, and keep going. But I'm still here. But as you know, modeling takes its time. So I'm glad you can join me again. And thanks for the um, your new subscribers. That's you know that's some nice comments I've had in the past. So thanks a lot, guys, and keep safe. Bye bye. <laughs>